What up, guys? What up, guys? You know, it's Marty. Here we go. Today, today, today. Guys, guys, guys. I'm coming up with you with, with like a like a vlog style video. Now, I don't know if you people uh, know, but I have a vlog channel that's dedicated just to the vlogs. It's called Marty Kaufman. Check it out. Check it out. But anyway, guys, I got to talk to you about this, guys. I got to talk to you about this, you know. A lot of people have been wondering. They're like, Marty, why do you keep driving the Ranger and everything? Don't you have another vehicle? That Ford Maverick and everything. Well, guys, well, guys. That Maverick, it's, it's having some issues, guys. It's having some issues. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't know what it is. I took it into the shop, you know, to the dealership, and I got all the recalls done on it. And they're all this, like, technical recalls with, like, the computer and whatever. Well, guys, now, the truck won't start. It won't start, guys. So, at first, I was like, well, maybe the battery's just dead and everything. But everything, like, illuminates and everything, so I need you to help, guys. If anyone out there has a Maverick, or if you know who has a Maverick, or if you, like, you know, you know, like, I don't like, like, uh, like, mechanic uh, Savvy and everything, you know, let me know in the comments below, because, guys, I need some help with this, I need some help with this. So, anyway, guys, I'm not sure if, like, the 12-volt battery only runs the engine, or if, like, the, the hybrid battery runs everything except for the engine. So, I'll get into it, guys. And then, I'll go to turn it on. You know, everything turns on except for the engine, guys. Lights, radio, everything. And then I'll come up and say, stop safely, stop safely. So, I don't really know what's happening, guys. And then, uh, I was like, well, I guess it's going to be a toilet bay. So, I had a tow truck guy come. And uh, the tow truck guy, because I was just going to have him tow it to the dealership. And he's all like, dude, the battery's dead. So he just jumped it and everything. And then I thought it was good because, you know, the, the light came off, like the check engine light came off and everything. So I was like, oh, all right, we good to go, guys. We good to go and everything. So I took it to Corvallis and everything. You know, I went and I saw that Oregon State football game last weekend against uh, Colorado State. Boy, was that a great game. Double overtime, guys, double overtime. Great game, great game. You know, went with an old buddy of mine, Graham, and uh, his... Like, uh, all his, like, family and everything. So, anyway, guys, anyway, guys. Uh, I get in out of the game. And uh, I go uh, get uh, get to my truck and everything. I go in there, I turn it on, and it goes... Mew. And I'm like, what the heck? So, the dang thing wouldn't start again. And I was like... It's going to take forever to get a tow truck out here and everything. So, you know what I did, guys? I was going through the 4Pass app. And I'm going through the 4Pass app. And I realized... That I have a remote start. So I got remote start on here. So it's like to remote start, press and hold button. So I was like, all right, I'll try this out. So I press and I hold the button and everything. And then you guys, guess what happened? Guess what happened? The engine started. I was like perplexed at this moment because I was kind of convinced that I just had a bad 12 volt battery and everything. So the engine started, I put it in gear and I got back home. All right, so I was like, all right. I guess it's working. Guess it's working. Well, guys, guess what happened yesterday? So, guys, yesterday, I go to get into my truck, and I'm trying to go to work and whatnot, what have you, and same thing happened. It just says, stop safely, and, you know, engine wouldn't start. And I'm all like, what the heck, what the heck? And now, th now this morning, I go try it again, and I just hear this tick, tick, tick noise. So, obviously, it it's a 12-volt battery, guys. A 12-volt battery. Like, in, con in uh, conjunction with something else is up and everything. So now, I got to go to Hobbit Freight and pick myself up one of those jump boxes and, uh, you know, jump the Maverick and everything. I would just connect the old Danger Ranger to the Maverick and everything. However, I can't get to the battery because apparently the battery, it's in, like, the back seat of the Maverick. And, you know, tell you what, tell you what, it's a whole... It's a whole ordeal. Maybe I can jump it somewhere in the engine engine area. I ain't really sure about that. But anyway, having one of those like jump boxes would be good anyway. Just, just you know, to be prepared and everything. To be prepared. So that would be good to have. So anyway, guys, we're going to go to Harbor Freight. Get that. And uh, I got myself some uh, Thomas Mini Bagels Fruit Loops. And uh, some cream cheese, guys. These are a buck ninety nine. So I was like... All right, so these are a limited edition. You know, that new new, you know, I'll be doing the at new new reviews and whatnot, what have you. And these were $1.99. So I was like, $1.99, I'll pick this up for sure. For sure, for sure. And they smell just like Fruit Loops. So they should be really good. So anyway, guys, see all you when we get out of Harbor Freight. And the saga will continue. All right, guys, all right, guys. So now we at Harbor Freight. Just got out of there. I got 
this thing right here called the Viking. I guess it's called Viking. Anyway, apparently, this is what I need to jump the truck and everything. You know, it cost uh, $39.99, so 40 bucks for this, guys. But, you know, hey, if it works, it works. And everything, so, you know, that's what it looks like on the back. It says ideal for that. So, anyway, guys, we're going to try this out now. I assume I got to, like, charge it up, like, from, like, the outlet power and everything. So, stay tuned, and uh, the saga will continue, you know. Uh, I wish the title is like my problems with the Maverick or something. So, anyway, guys, stay tuned for all this, and I'll see all you when we get this thing all charged up and ready to go. And then we we can see if the the Maverick will be able to get uh, jumped, you know, get power, and then we can take it to the to the dealership and everything. So, anyway, guys, see you in a bit. I right, guess, right, guys. So now we in the garage and everything. Now I've had this charged up for like several hours, so we're gonna see, you know. If it works, you know, with the Maverick. So, anyway, guys, stay tuned for this. I guess, I guess. So, this is what we're doing right now. You gotta open up the door. Yeah, I wanna see if anything happens here. So, nothing's really happening. I got my key, so let's see. You see? That, that happens, guys. Now, what does that say? I guess just tell me to put my seatbelt on. Oh, there you go. You see, you see? But like, everything. Radio's working fine. Everything, guys. So, why isn't it starting? Like, what's happening here, guys? What's happening here? Anyway, can you let me know in the comments below? I'd really appreciate it. Burp. Guys, I guess I'm gonna try something else out. So, I got the four pass app right here and everything. So we're gonna try to make this happen, Captain. All right, so the app's doing its thing and everything. And I'm gonna put the key in here. Nope, still not working. So it's still doing that thing. Nope, nope. So, I don't really know what's happening. I guess I guess. You see, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because it's obviously not working and everything. I've never used this Viking thing before, but I guess we just have to call a tow truck and everything. So, anyway, guys. Thanks for watching this. Keep spreading the good vibes only. And, hey, if you guys know anything about Ford Maverick hybrids, let me know in the comments below. Because, tell you what, guys. Tell you what. Tell you what. Anyway, Marty out. Burp.